We're both looking dapper. This is how I am 24 seven. Um, I guarantee you that the bottom half of what you have on does not match the top. <laughs> It was the 15th anniversary of The Office, and for more on that story, we go now to our entertainment correspondent, Steve Carell. Steve! I like your sign. Thank you very much. My daughters did it, by the way, so. Beautiful. This will be the graphic at the bottom of this. Of... Perfect. I love it. We're both looking dapper. This is how I am 24-7. Um, I guarantee you that the bottom half of what you have on does not match the top. <laughs> I am definitely wearing jams, if anybody remembers. <laughs> if anybody remembers what those are. So Steve, this week marked a huge anniversary for you and I. Um, we were on a little show called The Office and it turned 15 years old yep. this week. I mean, I was a waiter when I got that job. I was 23 years old, I was a waiter. And after the pilot, I went back to waiting tables because I was sure nothing was gonna happen with it. <laughs> and. Uh, and we all kind of came into it with that vibe. I remember none of us had done anything huge. It's such an, a happy surprise that after all these years, people are still tuning in and finding it even today. It's pretty cool. What were some of your favorite memories? I think most of the memories have to do with things that we shared as a cast. All of our exchange around the, the micro flat screen TV. The you know, episode dinner party where you said, and when people come over, you just, d and it only moved that far. I don't yeah, think I've ever worked harder in my articulate. life. It's the most emotional I've ever been on a set, certainly. And I, I know we've talked about it, but I was sort of hoping that they wouldn't do your scene and my scene, the, the episode where you leave last, I think you and I counted, I think it was either 17 or 19 takes where there wasn't an audible word that came out. It was just, it was just action. And then you and I going, ah! That was really, that yeah. was, that was tough. Part of what was so much fun about it is that everybody in the cast was rooting for everybody else. People would step back when it was time for other people to shine and celebrate it. Some of my, most fond memories, uh, personally or professionally, are entwined and connected with that Without show. Without a doubt. And listen, I know everybody's talking about a reunion. Hopefully one day we just get to reunite as people and just all get to say hi. I, I mean, Just to see your face <laughs> is so great. I miss you a ton, man. It's so good to see you. And thank you so much for doing this. We are uh, trying to start a news network just for good news. And, and boy, are you good news. I really think you're gonna make something of yourself, Steve. <laughs> I love you and I can't wait to see you very soon. That's our show. I'm John Krasinski. This is SGN asking you to remember that no matter how tough life can get, there's always good in the world and we will see you next time. Good night.